everyone! It's me again, and welcome to Faith's Faces! If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade, and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. And you should subscribe, and you should hit that little bell icon too. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of any of this thrilling, exciting action. Yes! So what you've stumbled across is Faith's Faces, which is usually a get ready with me or a makeup tutorial like we got going on today. I got a little more time in my life now, so I'm starting to bring the makeup tutorials back in full force. And yeah, life is good. I took a poll on um, the makeup group that I'm a part of, DMV Makeup Talk. Shout out to you guys if you're watching this. Hey, what's up? Um, I took a poll on there and I took a picture of three palettes. One of them was the Jaclyn Hill palette. One of them was the uh, Prism palette by Anastasia, which I do have. And then one of them was this palette here. And I said, which palette should I do a look with today? At the time, it was a dead heat tie um, between Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette and the Lorac Mega Pro 4. So I opted to do a look with the Mega Pro 4, although the Prism palette has since gotten a few more votes, so I will be doing that. Today's look is using the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette. I was so excited for this to come out. And when I saw it, I bought it immediately because I have all of the Lorac Mega Pro palettes. And this one is beautiful. I mean, the, the color selection here is so unique. I don't really see these colors that often. Uh, so I was really excited to play around with this. You've got a lot of really standard mattes and a lot of gorgeous shimmers that are very unique in sort of tone and undertone. And Lorac shadows are some of my favorites going way back. I've used these for years and I've loved them. I mean, I am so happy with the way these eyes turned out. This is kind of an, I would call it an understated fall look, at least for me. Um, Y'all know I'm all about the avant-garde. I'm all about the smoky, the crazy, the colorful, and this is still colorful, but it's just a flawless gradient from one end of the eye to the next. It's not overwhelming. It's perfect for whether you're doing some kind of, you know, evening event where it's like a gala or a formal event that you wanted to add a little bit of a spin onto, or whether you're just going out day to day and you want something that has a little bit more color without being super, super dramatic and out there. I'm really excited about it, but I digress. I'm going to stop running my mouth. And if you want to know how to get this gorgeous, natural, green and gold gradient magic with the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette. Just keep on watching, baby. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get things started. A couple of things. First off, ignore my eyebrows. <laughs> um, we're starting our waxing unit in esthetician school, so I cannot uh, tweeze, pluck, wax, or otherwise remove hair from my body um, for the next couple of weeks. So if you notice, that my eyebrows will slowly start to go more and more out of control. Pardon that, it's just a thing. My eye started watering on this side, so you'll see there's part of a, there's part of the section of my outer la lower lash line that has no product on it. I literally can't get it to stop watering and washing off, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But anyway, moving right along. Y'all probably wouldn't have noticed that unless I pointed it out to you, but I did want to point it out because my eyes started watering and my eyes aren't terribly easy to irritate. So if you have very sensitive eyes, some of these colors might irritate your eyes a little bit. I'm gonna start out with a transition shade. In this case, it's going to be Mocha. And tap off your brush with these because these have, as you've probably heard about Lorac, they have powdery fallout like crazy, but it also makes them super pigmented. So I really don't mind that. Um, just do your eyes first so you can remove the fallout and tap off your brush before you apply it to your eye because these kick up some dust. But uh, if you can get past that, they're great, great shadows. And then I'm gonna take Real Techniques, what is this called? Essential Crease Brush, this little tiny crease brush. And I'm gonna dip this into Lagoon. Now I think Lagoon is what has been irritating my eyes. It does have some larger micro glitter particles that probably got in my eye and made it water. So just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna work it on the outer corner and into the crease a small bit. You will get fallout with this. It is inevitable. This is a very, very powdery shadow, but it's a gorgeous color. 
And then I'm gonna take my original transition shade blender and just run that over the edge here. Make sure that doesn't get carried up too high. So now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna throw my detail brush first apparently, and then I'm gonna take my little detailer brush here. This is an Esam G09, and I'm gonna take the shade Moss, this beautiful green right here, tap that on there, and I'm just gonna push that on the edge of where I put that lagoon color just to help blend it later and bring a little more of the green forward. Then I'm going to take an Esam W23 brush, it's a little flat shader basically, and I'm going to take the shade Honey, this guy right here, which is a beautiful light caramelly color. It's exactly as the name suggests, it looks like a pot of honey. And I'm just going to pat this on the inner part of the lid, and boom, like that, you know, between the light gold of that honey shade and the green being so vibrant and then that teal being as deep as it is they all just pick up on each other beautifully i'm going to take that esam detailer brush again go back into moss and then i'm just going to spread moss over that gold shade and blend the two together now i'm going to go back in with my mocha Transition shading brush and just reestablish that transition shade right in the crease. Make sure everything's all blended together nicely. So I'm going to start with Honey, that warm caramelly shade. And I'm going to run that across the inside edge of the lower lash line just a little bit. Just to open that eye up. And then, you guessed it, we're going to go into Moss, that true green. Really the star of this look as it turns out, and we're just going to connect that along the lower lash line. Really hard to talk while I do that. You can probably guess what's next in this choose your own adventure game. I'm going to take Lagoon on this same little brush. Just make sure you're done blending those lighter colors before you go in with Lagoon because it's going to be hard to go back once you get this. I'm going to take Lagoon and put it on the outside edge here connecting it to the top. And I'm going to avoid putting any product in my waterline just because it's kind of dangerous to do that to begin with because your waterline has a lot of mucous membranes up in here and if you clog those up with product you're going to end up getting like eye infections and stuff. So generally speaking I sort of have been avoiding that area. So there you go. Shadow is pretty much done. I'm so happy with this. This is such a pretty color combo. I just wish my right eye would stop watering for two and a half seconds, but liner lashes and mascara time. For liner, I'm probably just going to do a brown line across the lid or a black. I haven't really decided yet. You could use either one. I'm not going to put any liner on my lower lash line because I really want to keep that open. Uh, and then for mascara, y'all will be so happy for me. I finally replenished my YSL The Shock Mascara. I was gonna wait until the VIB Rouge sale started, but I couldn't wait anymore. I was like, I can't keep using inferior mascaras. I need my baby back. And so I got that, and I'm gonna use that for my lashes today. And I'm gonna toss on some Ardell 105s for good measure. So I'm gonna do all of that and my foundation, because you guys have seen me do that a million and one times, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish this puppy. Okay guys, I'm back. I've done my full complexion and added our liner and lashes. I actually ended up going with the Revlon Color Stay Liner in Topaz. I haven't used this in a long time and I forgot how pretty it was. You can see it just peeking through there. Just a beautiful little shimmery copper shade. Um, everything else is exactly as normal. I used a blush from NARS um, from their Unfiltered 2 palette. Uh, and Mary Luminizer, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, nothing new at all. And now for setting spray. As we always say here on, um, here on my channel, it wouldn't be a Faith Grenade video if we didn't fan ourselves. Okay, so now that my skin is back to looking like skin again, let's think about lips. I really don't know what lip to pair with this and I don't want to fuck it up. Story of my life. You could really go in a bunch of different directions with this. You could go cool toned. That would look pretty cool. 
You could go a kind of chocolatey brown direction with it. You could even go deep green if you wanted to, just to bring out the greens in the eyes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I like how this eye look came out and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> We could go with a nudie, pinky type color. It's a little more on the warm side. I don't know. But I'm gonna figure it out with a snap of my finger. Took a minute, but we got there. I opted for a chocolate brown because every nude I was picking was either too pink or too bright, if that makes any sense. Um, and I definitely didn't want to take away from the eye look. I wanted this to stay you know, very soft on the eyes, but I wanted to balance it out in the lips. So dark lip it is. This is what I'm most comfortable in. Honestly, if you're a nude lip person, do a nude on, it really doesn't matter. Um, this is Dominatrix by Jeffree Star, but any old nude will do. Try and aim for one that's a little bit more on the warm side, maybe even on the neutral side if you're, you know, feeling uncertain about what colors to pick. But in the meantime, that's it for the look, guys. I am really excited about how this came out. I'm looking forward to messing around with the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette a little bit more. Um, I did have that little incidence of eye irritation, but that has seemed to go away completely now. Um, I'm not, you know, my eyes aren't watering anymore and I'm not feeling any discomfort uh, or itchiness at all. So I, you know, feel better about that now. Without further ado, the thing I always forget to do, let's do some awkward posing. Awkward posing. Looking down, looking forward, looking fierce. I hope you guys found this video helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out. Or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. I put out new videos every Sunday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles!